Last night, we showed you these images of a car that crashed through the storefront of one of my favorites, Snowl Cafe in Aurora. Four customers were hurt, all with minor in injuries, and the driver will likely be cited for careless driving. But that store caught our eye for their sweet apology posted on Facebook about being closed yesterday. They are back open for business today, just happy everyone is going to be okay. So Denver 7's Colette Bordelon reports. This shop in Aurora. We came in to share with our friends. Specializes in sweets with Korean flavors. Usually we think of traveling to another country to get a flavor and a taste of that. Flavors Yu Jong Choi. Nutella tarki duge. The store manager at Snow used to miss. Right now we have all the Korean cuisine around here, all the different cuisine, but 10, 10, 14 years ago, we didn't really have much. Born in Korea, she moved here when she was 15. It was very difficult, but now I love it. She loves sharing a little taste of home with her customers. I always see like family coming in, you know, oh wow, this is like so special. And then they're, they're sharing their moments as a family, that's really special. 30.55. The crowded cafe emptied early on Saturday. I'm actually really thankful that nobody got more serious injured because 30 minutes before the accident, this was full house. After a driver mistook the gas pedal for the brakes and crashed through their front window right into the store, four people were hurt. Choi says bystanders sprung into action and helped those who were hurt. I would like to, you know, do anything on the house for them. Snow boarded up the window and cleaned the shop quickly, serving customers again by Sunday, with people behind the counter just as sweet as what they serve and customers happy to see them open again on Sunday. Anytime we do get exposed to different cultures, it just expands our mind and our ability to connect. Enjoying a little taste of Korea in Aurora. Club Bordelon, Denver 7. That mango bowl is my favorite too.